Welcome to another live stream. I am Keith. This is Life Journey Production Studios. I am making last minute adjustments to Skycam. Um, so anyway, th so, thank so thankful that you joined me. I see lots of people in the chat. Uh, got lots of cool stuff to unbox. You can see over my shoulder. Um, we'll tell the story in just a minute. Dominic is gonna join us. He's in the house. We're gonna talk about um, some new stuff that he and I are doing together. That's gonna be a new channel. We'll talk a little bit more about that later on in the stream. He should join us here in about a half hour, 40 minutes. But before that, we've got some things to unbox, but I wanna say hi in the chat. But again, let's just review where we're going. About an hour and a half tonight, we are going to be talking about what channel Dominic and I are gonna start here in June, as well as I'm gonna be unboxing some really cool stuff. Have three items tonight to unbox. We have a little portable solar kit from Go Power. We have a Sennheiser wireless kit, new technology, basically calling it the evolution of their wireless kits. And lots of people know about the film kits. This is a handheld microphone, but we'll be talking a little bit more about this kit. It's gonna be one of two. This one is uh, one we'll talk about here in a minute. And then also I have the new little tripod by, um, by the same guys that make the Foldio 3 kit. So Orange Monkey and that little tripod is here. We're gonna unbox it. Um, I've been in the box for uh, Evolution, but I haven't hooked it up um, because uh, when I went to pick it up, they wanted to tell me what was in the box and how everything went together so I could get a little demo before um, I brought it in the studio. I've never held this microphone before. And um, so the other two items are in the box and we're gonna do that here shortly, but Let's see if we can actually get chat on the air tonight, and uh, we will say hi to some people. First of all, we did have um, some early birds, and I always want to give a shout out to those of you who decide to pop in super early. So thank you for popping in, and Hank says hi. Um, you can see from Bluffton, South Carolina, and then after that, Freddie popped in. So Freddie, make sure you let people know where you're from for anybody that's new in the chat tonight. Um, so we have seat one and two <laughs> taken up. After that, um, we have DJ Ware in the house. Thank you so much. He's got a great channel way over my head, but great stuff. I got a chance to tune into that. And so check out DJ Ware. He has a new video um, about a small little mini computer. It's quite fascinating to me. I'm going to consume more of that video because um, I'm very fascinated about what you can do now with the steam engine. And anyway, you have to go over and check out DJ Ware's channel. Uh, Doug is here. Doug has some new videos on his channel. I did pop in the Doug's channel. He and I have um, kind of some Star Trek history together, which is really cool. Uh, Freddie and I have actually been on uh, a journey together. We've had some relationship off camera, and we're going to talk more about that here in a minute so we can all be face-to-face -face next week. Tuesday uh, in the post show. And we'll talk about that here in a minute. I hope you guys will join me um, for that, but I'll give you more information here in a minute. Um, so Doug is here. It's great to have you. And he says, howdy. Um, and then let's see who else we have. Oh, my good buddy here, <laughs> Tony from Quick Tech Solutions. Uh, thank you, Tony, for letting me know you've been busy the last couple of weeks, but it's great to have you all the time. Uh, on the live streams, and I understand my life has been crazy. Um, lots of new work, lots of new projects. I even got approached um, by a manufacturer, um, so can't really disclose that, but we will be talking about that in the future um, if that relationship comes together. Um, so that's interesting. Um, so we'll talk a little bit more about that face-to-face -face next Tuesday. Um, let's just continue going down here. I don't wanna miss anybody. Um, and I'm sure there's some comments and questions here. I'll scan back through. Um, yeah, Natalia Dones is here from Puerto Rico. Thank you for joining us. Always good um, to have people from around the world. We got TVJ here as well. TVJ has a channel. He live streams many, many Mondays. My Mondays are always jam-packed. Uh, that's my date night with my wife, Shannon, when we can. Um, we also do some babysitting for my granddaughter. So our lives are filling up, even though we are trying to retire. We're semi-retired, but we're far from um, being uh, laid back. And um, so we'll talk a little bit more about what's been happening. 
Again, I do have Dominic waiting in the wings. So um, Freddie says he's from Caracas, Venezuela. So I knew that, but you guys now know that as well. So let me just cruise back up here through the chat. Um, lots of hellos. Skycam, yeah, it's on tonight. I was actually readjusting key number two, my DVE, and I'll demo that here in just a second. Um, so yeah, it's great to have you guys on with me. Let's talk a little bit about what's coming up. There's a link in the notes tonight um, to my webpage contact. And so if I don't already have your email, we're not already emailing back and forth every so often. If you'd like to join the Zoom face-to-face -face next Tuesday night, that's right, one week from tonight, I have a Zoom that's not broadcasted, but I will send you an invite if you send me a request to join that. It's our chance once a quarter to be face-to-face. -face. I will give you guys more behind-the-scenes information, what's happening here in my life. Studio B, which is right now on hold because we are uh, looking into how things go with Shannon's mom, and there's all kinds of information I'll share about that next week in the Zoom face-to-face. -face. Also, some of the projects I'm working on behind the scenes, I'm going to save that for the post-show next week. Again, it's not going to be on this channel. You'll only be able to see that if you join the conversation. So lots of secret sauce uh, going to be available in that. Also, then I want to go around the roundtable. I think last time we had five or six people on with me. Hopefully we'll have more, but it doesn't matter. It's just my opportunity to get face-to-face -face with you all together, have a conversation. So I would love to have you come with maybe some NAB or new products that you are been having your eye on, anything that new that you've added in your world. Not all of you stream, and I understand that. So um, you come prepared to share something from your world if you would like to, and I will be prepared to share some things from my world as well. And I'm gonna be sharing some of that tonight with Dominic being here on the channel. That's my grandson. And we're getting ready to do some projects together and that's exciting for me. So I'll take a breath. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee, look at the camera while I do it. <laughs> Which is one of my signatures, evidently. So tell you a funny story, and then we'll uh, look to see if there's any questions in the chat. If you have any questions about what we're going to do tonight, anything I haven't made clear about our Zoom call next week, again, point number one, anybody can join that's on this channel as long as you go to the link in the description tonight, and you can do that after we're done live. Um, I've already received one um, request to join, and so all those people are going in a Word document, then that day... Before we go live, I will be sending invites. A few more people will probably join and contact me during my live stream. So before I go to that Zoom after next week's live, so next week live will happen. Then after it, it'll last about hour and 15 minutes. After that, we'll have about a 15 minute break. So somewhere around 5.30, 5.35, we will be together on a Zoom call. I don't record it. I don't put it out there live, and I request everybody that joins that not to record it either. There's just a private conversation among friends as we get to know each other here on this channel. Now, understand, you get to know me, know me because you're right here in the studio with me. I'm on camera, but unless I have had a Zoom consult with you or I've had a chance to talk with you or be in a Zoom with you, I don't get to be face-to-face -face with you, and you guys don't get to be face-to-face -face with each other. You just get to talk in the chat and see the little icons and so that's really cool, like Freddie's icons on the screen right now. We'll release that from his captivity. So you see those faces, but when we do the Zoom once a quarter, we get to all see each other's faces. So that's going to be fun. I'll, I'll play around with speaker views so that you can get a closer look at those people that are sharing in the Zoom next week. So again, no cost. You don't have to be a subscriber to be a part of that if you're watching this video and you just would like to join that Zoom then just fill out the link in the description for this video and then join us. Obviously, if it's after May 23rd, 2023, it's too late to join that Zoom. And I will be removing that link after the Zoom conversation because it's too late. Now, <clears throat> the other thing I wanted to say is I do a free consult. It gives me a chance to help people with their live streaming tech. Or maybe they have a question about a Rodecaster Pro or maybe some of the tools I use here. Any of that qualifies Obviously, if it's something that you don't see here on my channel, um, I'm not really qualified to be a consultant for you. 
Um, but if there is something you'd like to have a one hour free consult, again, that's a one off. Um, but if you haven't taken advantage of that one hour consult, please do, um, because I'd love to meet you. Uh, we spend a few minutes uh, before we even start that hour getting acquainted, because that's my number one priority. And then I try to answer whatever questions. I've literally helped people turn the corner um, and um, figure out what they need to do differently in that hour. Um, I do have a, a plan monthly for anybody that wants to continue. Um, so for 90 days, uh, or sometimes I'll even make an exception if someone just needs another hour to sort something out. So lots of cool people have invited me to have a consult. I have a client now that I've met that um, we're going to continue a conversation off and on. He has a HD8 ISO. That's the new television studio by Black Magic Design. So I'm excited to have a little bit of a hands-on through him behind the scenes. That's exciting to me. And many other people I've had the opportunity uh, to consult with. I got a chance to have a client that's doing uh, super high quality, high end now, uh, streaming for a uh, hockey team that he's a co-owner on. That's up in Canada. That was really cool. And then many friends I've developed through a free consult before where I've even done exchanges um, for things, and that's pretty exciting when you think about it. So that's enough of all of that. Um, let me go back in the chat and see if you guys have any questions or anything you would like to talk about right now. Um, scrolling through here. Most of these are just greetings, and if I missed a question or you see someone um, pop in, if you'd like to let me know, that would be cool. So if I see someone else's name in a comment from one of you, that'll help trigger me. Um, also, let me know that you have good audio, good lip sync. We are going to go to the DJI mic today over on the table, but let's get unboxing if you don't have any questions. There is a little delay in the chat tonight, so I will try to stay on top of that, and I'm going to fire up um, the chat in my phone. Cool. Thank you, Tony. Tony and I have the ability to text back and forth, so cool to have you. Uh, Quick Tech Solutions going to be in the Zoom call next week. So again, guys, you can email me, text me. That's perfectly fine. I'll build the last the list before I call it a night tonight from whatever responses you get. So many of you already have my email. Some of you even have my cell phone. So go ahead and reach out to me like Tony just did. Um, and yeah, let me know that lips are on. Five by five, Tony says. AV's okay, Freddie says. Thank you. And let's just give tribute to those guys behind the scenes giving me a hand. Um, I sure appreciate it. Okay, so uh, let me tell you a little bit of story. Um, I um, am planning on doing some um, hosting, some speaking gigs here locally, um, and um, have been planning kind of a, a couple things, free events in this local area. Um, live streaming tech, going to take some of the tools like my A10 Mini Pro, the Insta360 um, bonus camera, my laptop, the DJI mic, a lot of my mobile kit that would be great for small businesses, and I'm going to be hosting a small event um, and just invite local business people to that. I will record it um, and um, have it later. I might show bits and pieces out on my channel, but really it's about helping local businesses, supporting the growth of local businesses, giving them some trips and, tick and, and tips. Um, and again, I'm not really, I'm not going to go much into content, not going to go much into Google ads, all that stuff, because that's not my passion or my strength. My strength is social media to promote businesses, to promote you, live streaming tech, um, obviously. So I needed to go to the next level. So I have my gator bag here. This is a single rack bag, um, and it's made for wireless kits. And we're going to take a look at the Evolution wireless kit that I have. So this is designed to hold a, um, a pack, a body pack right here. I haven't purchased this yet. Um, this kit that I'm going to show you guys tonight is for a client of mine. I'll be delivered it Thursday, showing them how to use it. That's why I have it early. I have permission um, to show it. And so I'm going to be getting my own kit, but I wanted to play around with it first. I haven't decided if I'm going to do a single rack um, 
handheld microphone and body pack and you have to choose which one you're going to use it's not a dual receiver that i'm going to show you guys tonight um so again you can obviously switch between a handheld microphone and a body pack but the kit we're going to unbox tonight and attempt to hook up if we have time is going to be this particular kit right here and i'll talk a little bit more about the specs and so basically the cool thing about this is it has a little um, velcro deal right here so the antennas can pop up right through here and then this little velcro thing pulls the device up right up into it and holds it tight so that you can have the receiver um, then you can have the transmitter body pack if you have one and you can have the wireless right here and then in the back you'll have a room for antennas and there's a little box that goes in it that you can put some of the things in here like batteries and all of that goes in behind here power cord um so that's the back of it right here and um this was requested by my client they wanted something to make it portable um so they want to be able to do the same thing i'm going to do take it to different places if they have a sound system where they're going they can just take their wireless kit so they always have good sound sounding wireless with them and uh, again, this is not a 2.4 kit. This is more of a traditional um, kit. And we're going to look at that here. So, and then you have, not only do you have this compartment, but, and the, the tighteners, but you have a strap right here. And then it's got these little teeth on it um, to be able to give it some grip. If you're going to set it down on the table and the way I always have used these, I used to have the hard version of this um, years ago with my wireless single mount half rack receiver in it. And um, it, again, it was the hard one. So you had a piece on here that came off and a piece back here, but I like this zip bag better. Um, and um, so I'm considering it. Um, and I'll show you guys kind of more of what I would get if I do the dual receiver. So I'm gonna set this aside, but this is one of the items. And then real quickly, I wanted to open up these two. This is the new, um, Little tripod that I got from Orange Monkey. That's the Foldio 360 kit that I have right here spinning on the table. I'll pull this in the camera so you guys can see it spinning. And it just unboxed itself because the bottom has never been closed. This is how it came uh, in a smaller box and it was always trying to get out. It is a uh, aluminum tripod. You can see right here it's um, tripod 50 V. Um, and again, this is by orange monkey. Um, and this is designed to be able to shoot in the Foldio version three, uh, light box, which I unboxed right here on the channel and showed you a few weeks ago, I believe. Um, and, um, I did not order this one accessory. I got backgrounds. I got, uh, an extra set of halo bars. I got the largest, um, white box that they have. And again, that's going to be being used um, here on Dominic and my channel. But again, that's the box. It's got a little bit of information on the back, but it is aluminum. It's not on carbon fiber, so it's a little heavy. And inside the box is this little uh, device here, and I haven't opened this up yet, so I don't know what it is yet. So let's get it out. And it's a little handle to control the little tripod. That's cool. Usually it's the larger tripods that come um, with a handle, but this is a little tripod with a handle. So we're going to set that down on the table. And then you have this nice nylon bag. Um, it's got a pull strap. We're going to open this up. Again, I have not had this out of the box. I've seen it online. And again, I do all my shopping. I try to study things online and then I get my hands on it usually after I purchased it. And so again, inside is this tripod and i can't believe this is like 50 dollars. i think us it wasn't that expensive um but man i thought it was a really nice tripod for the money so um i haven't seen anybody else have anything that i know of this nice i think there's a couple different companies that do this but you have the clicking feet with the release right here and so i can pull that up and so it's really compact um it's got extendable legs so these legs pull out um not sure exactly how to do it yet <laughs> there we go so the legs pull out to make it a little bit longer so you have obviously three feet you got a little ball head on here it even has a level um 
It has the mount for your camera, very tiny. You can see it right here, um, but that pops right on there. And then you just tighten it down. And then you actually have a ball head so you can adjust. Um, and um, you have a tightener right here on the side and that adjusts it turn around this way. You got to tighten it down. And so this gives you resistance. So it's got a nice fluid head on it. And then you have the ability to go portrait and adjust this. And this is going to be a perfect little tripod for me, especially when I'm shooting on the table. But the design for this is to be able to go on the table. I can even mount my um, iPhone holder. I have this version right here that will just screw off and go on here so I can switch to an iPhone holder. And remember the Foldio 360 has the app and you can use a DSLR or you can use your smartphone with the app. And so this will be designed to take pictures when Dominic and I are doing our unboxings on the table. And um, so exciting little thing. So it also has this extending head, goes up and down just a little ways. Um, but one of the things I really liked about this is it gets down pretty flat. So I can literally go down like that, put the feet in, click it, click, oops, too far, click right there. And I can set it down just like that on the table. And you can see how nice and flat this little tripod is. So I will put a link later on. I hope you guys will use the links if you decide to get this. Get this. This is nice and sturdy. I mean, I'm very impressed. You got foam around the legs for gripping it. Um, everything seems to be super quality. In fact, everything I've gotten so far, um, not super expensive. Things are made out of plastic. Um, but this thing is solid aluminum, and it feels very heavy. Um, what does the weight say on the box here? Um, and I did drop an Allen wrench. I'll get that up here for a second. Um, but it says... 13.2 um, pounds is the max load capacity. Um, does it say how much it weighs? Hmm. Product weight, 28.2 ounces. Um, so some specs, maximum diameters, 21 millimeters. Foldable height is 165 millimeters or 6.5 inches. So that's top to bottom when you put it in the bag. Normal height is 260 millimeters or 10.2 um, inches. Um, maximum working height is 20 inches or 510 millimeters. Minimum working height is 7.5 inches. So you can get this puppy 7.5 inches off the ground. Great for like little macro shots with your iPhone if you want to do that, if you get a, like a macro lens. But again, nice little kit. And then this piece goes in here somewhere right here. So it just pops in right here. If you guys can see that on camera and I am using my EOS R right now, but it's on face detect. So it's gonna find me regardless. Um, but this is screws in here and then I can tighten it down with this little knob, I believe. Um, and maybe it needs to go all the way in. So let me take it all the way in, see if it will go all the way in. Yeah, it goes all the way in and you can see it come out the end and then you tighten this down. I think it actually goes inside a hole and now you have a little handle. handle. And so let's go like this. So you could actually use the resistance and pan and it's got nice fluid panning left to right, but it doesn't have panning fluid panning this way. Um, it's pretty loose. I guess you could tighten the knob and get some fluid panning, but they're not designed to go that way. So. That's this little tripod. Um, again, Orange Monkey, I put links a couple weeks ago in my um, Foldio 360 unboxing, but there it is. And it's called the Tripod 50V. These are not sponsored. I've paid for all this with my own money. So we're gonna set this down. And if you have any questions, I'll address those later. Next is this little kit right here. This is the Duro Pack by Go Power. This was um, uh, when I did that shoot in Dallas, Oregon, they handed this out to everybody that was there. So again, it's not sponsored, but they do know that I'm going to be doing some unboxings here. So shout out to my friends at Go Power. They are a solar company. They provide lots and lots of panels around the world, as well as in the United States for a lot of RV manufacturers. And that's how I met them. So let's pull the cellophane off of this. 
Again, it's a little portable solar pack, eight watts, um, designed mainly for your phone. Here's some of the devices they're saying that you can use it on. So it's pads, game, small game systems like a Twitch, uh, rechargeable wireless headphones. They're really promoting it for just items like a phone and all that. This would be great for me to have an outdoor shoots just to plug things in to charge through batteries. So inside the box is this little package couple little items oh i forgot to show you guys this allen screw that goes to the tripod this little allen screw right there and we'll put this down with the tripod stuff um and it looks like this fell out of the package i didn't see it but this is the little phone adapter that you can use with the tripod so it does come with an iphone adapter which is really cool so again that goes with the little tripod i just saw it on the floor i'm not very good at unboxings obviously okay so it comes with a little uh holder right here and um comes with a little uh traditional usb c or usb a cable to the typical old adapters not usb c it's the old standard adapter um and then we'll get this little device out. Man, it's getting hot in the studio right now. And so it's got a little magnet flap. And then you open it up and it folds out. It's got a battery built in. And then there's your solar panel. So you have an 8-watt solar portable power pack. And you peel that off. And it's got an on button here on the side. Push button. And it says it's got little notches so you got a short arrow then the next size arrow to show you how much charge that is that's all that's on the screen so far but again all of these panels are solar so you can set this down and start charging this battery pack and then on this side you have USB-C and two USB-A type ports and then you also have the light on the back and for some reason the lights on right now and maybe that's what this switch is for yeah, so the switch will turn the light on and off. Um, it also shows you charging with the light off, so it's cool. You have a little handy light. Again, that'll be a great little tool for me. So this can just go on a table in the sun and provide charging. Again, this is the Duro Pack 8 watt solar portable power pack by GoPower. I don't know if you can pick these up anymore. I know that they're not going to. They're not sure they're going to continue uh, with this product but it would then be available in catalogs like at your, no, your local RV service center. Um, that's where GoPro sells a lot of their items. So again, you can't get them through Amazon. You literally need to go to like an RV location, a service department, look in their catalog, and you'll probably find a section in that catalog that sells different Go Power products. So those two items has a little... Um, Instructions right here that tells you all about it. Portable solar pack, quick start guide, GP-S, B as in boy, P as in Paul, 8 watt. And again, it's got a little bit of instructions in here. It tells you that it's a monocrystalline uh, solar cell output type, 8 watt, 4 by 2 watt panels, capacity 10,000 milliamps, outputs USB 5 volt and a 2.1A um, volt and another 2.1A volt. So I'm sure the USB-C is the more powerful one. Um, it's got a micro USB, USB, uh, and uh, actually the micro USB is the input for charging, and that's the old version. And then it has a micro USB um, 5 volt, 2 amp um, input, and um, dimensions are six by 6.1 by five inches or 155 by 164 by 15 millimeters. And it weighs about 400 grams or 0.88 of a pound with a one year warranty. And again, that is from Go Power. And thank you guys for providing that. They are not influencing my feedback, but um, I did get a chance to work with them. So those are two things. That I just wanted to get out of the way tonight because I've been waiting to unbox them. And again, I'll try to answer any questions a little bit later. Dominic's going to be joining us here shortly, but I want to get this open. 
So here you go. This is the Sennheiser wireless digital kit. This is actually um, just one of the models you can get. You can get it without a capsule for the handheld microphone. You can get it with a body pack. You can get it for an instrument pack. You can get it with both the handheld um, and a mic as well as the body pack with the M2 mic, again from Sennheiser. But this is the EW-D-835-S wireless digital set. And again, it's got the 835-S capsule. So we're going to unbox this right now, right here as I sit here. So we'll open this up and here's what you have in the box. So in the box, you have the handheld wireless without a mic on it because you can change capsules. They even make a Neumann capsule for this. It's about $1,000, but again, this has about 100, almost 135 dB of gain, and um, it's very, very quality microphone. They work together with some of these major mic people like Neumann for this design. This is the 835 capsule, and they screw together. We'll do that in a minute, but you can get different capsules, and you can actually buy this kit without a capsule, um, so you can get the wireless receiver and as well as the digital wireless receiver as well as this handheld microphone without a capsule. So you can buy it that way. Comes with a power supply with all the different ends on it. Comes with these traditional antennas, um, but you can order bigger antennas plus a giant portable stand antenna for outside venues where you really need to go really long throws. Comes with two batteries. Um, it comes with the microphone mount. Um, so you can put this on a mic stand. And then it comes with the receiver, which we're going to get out of the box right now. And there's more stuff underneath the receiver we'll look at here in a second. And again, this was already pulled out of the box, but here you go. This is the, the receiver, and again, it's all digital, and the technology is really cool with this. It's the new level of technology, so this has some of the... Uh, the features that you only see in Sennheiser's high-end microphones, this has features you can't even get in their highest-end sets because this is the new evolution of wireless for them. Um, it's just super easy to use. It has an app that you can control up to 16 different devices from. So it's really easy to pair through the app. We're going to dive deeper into this in the weeks to come, and I'm actually going to hook it up. Um, and um, if we have time tonight, I will plug it in. I am prepared to do that. But... This is the receiver, and again, um, I'm sure you want to see it plugged in, but here's the back end. So you do have quarter inch um, uh, unbalanced, and you have balanced XLR. Then you have the two antenna sites, the power entrance right here, um, and so then you have the clip right here, and then it comes with all the brackets to mount it in a one-unit rack. It also comes with the plate to put two together side by side. So let me get that out. Here's the plate, and that plate is designed to hook more than one of these together in a rack. So it's actually more expensive to buy the dual a receiver and two microphones, so you might as well use uh, one of these, have an extra plate as a backup, or sell it to someone that can use it. Um, but you can order two of these separately. That's why I'm going to get this kit and then another kit, and then when I collaborate with this new client, then we'll be able to take both our microphones together. Um, and we are going to do some collaboration because he's right here in the Tri-City. So it comes with a plate. I also bought a um, per Pro Performance US Premium microphone cable. I don't never buy cheap cables when I'm buying anything to plug in for sound. So this is a very high-end cable. It's five feet long to give me enough length to hook it up to any soundboard and decide where I need to locate it within that five foot range. And again, that is also going in that kit for my client. And then I'll pull the mic out and screw the capsule on. And obviously the capsule has a screen on it that screws off. And so you can screw that capsule off. And again, this is the 835 um, condenser, uh, not condenser, dynamic capsule. Again, you can get a condenser capsule as well. You can also get a Neumann capsule. Um, so then there's only certain capsules that fit. We'll talk more about that in the future. And then you can see this just screws on here 
like that. And then you have a mute switch on the side, and you can actually control from the app if you can let someone mute it or not mute it. You also have the link button on the bottom, and you can just simply push the link on the front of the receiver and on the transmitter. So it's very similar to a lot of the new 2.4 wireless kits like the DJ mic I have on, but it's not in that bandwidth. This is actually a um, higher end microphone, and we'll talk a little bit about that. So you also have the power button on the bottom and it's designed so that it can't be turned off by accident. So this is just a mute. And again, you just unscrew it right here to get the batteries in. And they actually have a little door here so your batteries don't get caught. And then they have a rechargeable battery kit that you can get for this. The charger and the two batteries are about $140 from Sennheiser. Um, or you can use two regular double A's. And um, the guy that I'm working with directly, who is a sound designer and does installs for large venues, uh, his name's Jeremy. He works at the local music store. We've known each other for a lot of years. Um, and um, he said you can actually use the, U, the, new, the Duracell rechargeable double A's. They're very much compatible. So you can get some of those rechargeables or just get some throwaway batteries. But again... This is going to give you about eight hours if you use the traditional batteries and they're good quality batteries or up to 12 hours, believe it or not, if you have the rechargeable batteries by Sennheiser. So if you need a reliable handheld microphone, I think it looks good. It feels good in my hand. And um, this is going to be a great microphone to use um, um, for my client, as well as one of these is going to be in my hands very soon with the body pack and we'll unbox that one on the channel as well. So there's that. I'm gonna put it back in the box so it does not get dinged up because it's not mine. And last but not least, let's pull this out. And this right here was the little charging cord. I did already take it out. That's in the top right here. Um, this is the different power ends that came with it. I've already popped in the United States power end. But here you have all of these little ends for the different countries that Sennheiser ships to. So there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six different versions that they give you. I think that's the most I've seen. I can't remember if Blackmagic Design does that or not. But if you know, put that in the chat because Blackmagic also gives you these. And then also under here are the mounts. So we'll pop those out real quick. I already took them out of the plastic, so cut down some time. They were wrapped in cardboard. But again, these are the plates with the screws to mount this in a 1U rack. So they extend, and then if you're obviously going to put them um, in side by side, then you'll be able to adjust those to do that. But there's three pieces in here. And again, I will be putting all this um, back in the box because I don't need any of this to mount it in that portable case. That's what's really cool about those portable cases. So again, that can go here on the floor as well. And I'll clean this up later. So I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. And if we have time tonight, after I get a chance to have Dominic on the channel, we will then plug it in and listen to what it sounds like. So let me clean up here a bit. Thank you for your patience. It's getting really hot in here. Let's catch up in the chat. Little beefy looking tripod. That is true, Tony. Thank you for that. Yeah, Lieutenant A.K. Allen, good to have you with us tonight. And uh, we say hello. And yeah, you keep saying that you have to buy this stuff. You don't have to buy this stuff unless it works for you. Remember, I'm trying to get really up close to do shots on my little... Um, 360, Foldio 360, and I needed something to put on the table to do that. 
That way I don't have to have a tripod pod on the ground and that just be a lot easier to shoot inside that light box. So thank you. Pretty slick. That's from Doug. Did you figure out your camera was going offline? Yeah, I charged it. It has an internal battery and you have to charge it for eight hours. I think it's out. And um, the key is there's only one setting that will keep you from timing out and it's been on all day long. It's the camera right here. I've been testing it. I have not turned it off because it seems like every time I turn it off, um, it loses that memory. So you can't replace the battery yourself. It has to be sent back. Um, and that's what Canon did in the EOS. I mean, the 5D Mark um, four and up, I believe, um, they, you can't change the batteries anymore. So you actually have an internal battery. So we'll see, but right now it's working, but I'm on my EOS R. I fired my 5D Mark three from this main camera. So I have switched up my cameras. This is the EOS R now, and the 5D three will be, or four will be on the table. I have my 5D3 up here, and um, it's um, shooting also down on the table. I know you guys can't see it, but I will cut to that right now. I think it is camera four here. And here is my um, 5D Mark III, or four right here. This is my 5D Mark III, and this one right here is my EOS R. So that gives you kind of an update. So again, switched up camera one and two, but I haven't changed the labels in my control software yet. Um, your unboxings are from the ground up, um, smiley face. Yeah, they are because they fell on the ground. I, I really do need one. I appreciate your review demos and the fact that Usually stuff I'm looking for, you seem to showcase. Thank you, Well, I'm glad you need one. Uh, again, I don't want to motivate you to spend all your money, but I do want to share the stuff that I buy. I do want to unbox it, mostly on my channel, why I'm live, because that's really what my channel is about. It's live streaming tech. I like to be live to show off tech, and then I do support videos as well when I really need to break down some of the things that my clients are asking me. So the videos are for you and for clients, and they get to consume them for free. Um, and then if they hire me to consult, then I get some income from the hours and that. But again, I don't necessarily want to teach the same things over and over to everybody, uh, even though I can get paid to do that. I really like to progress and be training new things and learning new things Why the videos support some of the old techniques. So like, for instance, I, showed, I told you guys I would show you about my picture in picture, and I had to resize it. So we'll talk about that here shortly. Um, so yeah, it was an internal battery in my Canon 5D Mark IV. I don't know if it needs to be replaced yet. I charged it for eight hours. They say that's how long it takes to charge it. So I put a dummy battery in, Tony, and I let it charge all night. Then this morning, I turned it off, turned it on, plugged it in, and it's working fine, and it hasn't timed out like it was doing last week, and it did for a Zoom call. For me, so it's quite frustrating, but I still fired it and put it over here because I wasn't going to risk it going out on me while I'm live on this camera. But if it goes out when I'm with Dominic on the table, that will not work. So, and yes, I am using my EOS R tonight as my main camera. So, okay. Um, I think I said hi to everybody. Uh, let's uh, switch it up here. Again, I'm just running low on time. That's why I haven't hooked up the Sennheiser wireless microphone, but I do want to do that tonight before we go. I do want to jump in right now with Dominic, so I'm going to call him in here. I think my mic's ready to go. I'm going to switch over on my lapel. So let me know if you have lapel audio. We're going to turn the monitor around to the table. Then I switched that to program out on the matrix on the front of my ATEM. So if, it was, if you guys see it now, it's program out so we can use it as a confidence monitor uh, looking into camera number two. And then once I cut to camera, num or camera number one, uh, when I cut to that, that's the shot. So that's where Dominic, Dominic and I are gonna be here in a minute. So we're gonna move over to the table. I'm gonna grab him out of the house and we'll be right back and start our conversation. Um, I'm going to take mix effects with me, so I'm pulling, let's move that out of the way. How about over here, being as I'm not using it, you guys should be hearing me. Let's just do this real quick. Oh, 
Did that camera just time out? No, scared me, but I lost my, oh, my PC timed out. Okay, so give me a second here. Turn my logo back on the screen. Um, what I wanna do is just double check the audio. Are you guys getting good audio right now? Let me know in the chat. Um, and then while you're doing that, I'm gonna release the crack in here. By the way, the crack in the new Seattle hockey team lost last night. It was a bummer. Um, they lost game seven to um, the Oilers from Denver. So I have mix effects on my iPad, so I can take my macros and I can take mixing anywhere I want. And so we're going to go over to the desk. Uh, I am going to change um, discs here. So one of the things I love about mix effects, and I'm going to demo this right now. I'll go into HyperDex right here. And I can actually switch this. So my intro and my outro video are on this disc, but I can hit this little icon here on the bottom and we'll do a, a behind the scenes on mix effects in a video very soon. But I'm gonna hit the little um, disc. They both should be in there. There we go. And it switches over. Now there's only one file on that and it's the video that I'm gonna show you when I have Dominic the table, so it's all ready and queued up. I can see it in my HyperDeck. So let me get him and we'll get going. Dominic, let's go. Turn it on. Cool. You sit over there, bud. Okay. Um, switch right here. Cool. Okay. Let me know if the audio is good. Let's grab the phone as well so I can see the chat. Welcome, Dominic. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. Glad to be here. Cool. Um, so let's uh, double check and make sure we have good audio. Yeah, I see audio. So say something. Hello. Say something. Cool. So this is Dominic. Dominic is my grandson. Switch one thing right here. So we can see the big monitor. Um, so Dominic and I have been working behind the scenes. So tell the audience tonight a little bit um, about you, your age, um, and um, tell them a little bit about what we've been doing behind the scenes together. Well, I'm 13. Okay. Uh... Nothing really important about that. But that's, that's really all you want to share about? So are you going to school? Yes. What grade are you in? Eight. Eight. And then you're actually doing kind of a new class right now you told me about, right? You do some photography now? Uh, well, it was, yeah, yearbook. Yearbook. And so what do you do for yearbook? Well, basically we go around, take some photos for the yearbook. That's pretty like little known but then right. after that we look at look through all the photos you know try and decide which ones would be best for it mm -hmm. and then decide how we're gonna make the yearbook cool so you're kind of in the photography now I'm in the photography and now we have the folio which is making noise right now because I have it on so go ahead and turn that over and push the button for three seconds right there and then it'll turn off and we don't have to listen to that anymore and I just want to go in here um, so that I can get the chat. So I'll be able to stay up with the chat here. So, um, so tell them a little bit about what we're doing together, what we've been doing behind the scenes, and um, when they can expect to see that stuff start. Well, we've been basically deciding what we're going to do, you know. Like? Like. What, what are we going to do? We're going to unbox. Unbox what? Some, you know, one six scale figures. One six scale figures. What is a one six scale figure? It's a figure. That's one six of a scale. <laughs> wow. <laughs> See what I deal with? So generations here. So what what is it about one six scale figures that both of us kind of got excited about? Me? I, I just really like the variety of figures. Okay. Like, for instance... Miles Morales. Miles Morales. So I hear Miles Morales might be in the house. 
I think he is. I think he is. So are you? I told her I'd leave it up to you, right? Because you got to pick the first figure. I got to pick the second figure. Now, before we talk about the figure, Miles Morales, what's what? Are, so what's starting in June for us? Uh, our channel. And what are we gonna? Um, when are we gonna start that? There's kind of a special event happening that we thought would be really cool for us to do that with. Yeah, the new Miles Morales movie. Yeah, there's a new Miles Morales movie. Now, Miles Morales is just one of many characters, and he's mm -hmm. in what branch of characters? You're the guy that knows all about this. You're, you're, you're like the expert. Uh, I'm going to be guy, the guy behind the scenes doing a lot of the editing and all that stuff and producing, but you're really an expert on this. You're passionate about these genres. So tell them what genre Miles Morales is from. Uh, Marvel Spider-Man. Yeah. My, so and then this is a whole different what? He comes from a different universe. Universe. Uh -huh. So the first movie was called Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And the new movie is going to be Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Yeah. So we did some videos. We used our Foldio 360, our Foldio three box, white box and the halo bars. We have an extra set of halo bars now. Um, and this even has a light in the back to get rid of that back line. So if you have a figure on here, this lights up the back and you lose this line in your photographs. And so I put together a quick clip of some of the stuff that we're going to be releasing only on our other channel mm -hmm. because I really wanted to share with these guys kind of some behind the scenes. So this is a conversation that you and I had. What are we talking about in this five minute clip that we're going to show? Uh, basically what we're going to go and do in our channel and what's to be expected. And now is there any kind of look at this Miles Morales in this video? Yeah, a little bit. There is a little bit, so pay attention. Bit. Now we did, we actually played around with my new green screen by Elgato, didn't we? Yes. We stuck it behind us and so you may just see a still image behind us and you may see some of the top secret footage that um, Dominic and I produced in the background actually it's all him in the background it's going to be us at the table with the green screen behind us so let's um do this i'm going to um, let's see i've never done this where i switch cameras on here so it's hyperdeck right there so i'm going to cue it and get it ready and then i need to go down here to hyperdecks and i'm going to roll can i do this quickly and I would like I would think it'd be awesome to get some like, you know, maybe Captain America mm -hmm. or maybe even Iron Man because he has like so many different kinds of yeah. suits. And there's a new R2-D2 I just saw. It's yeah. Kind of, kind of the weathered desert like uh, debris on on him. That was pretty cool. There's some mm -hmm. other ones. So, yeah, I, I like that. I, and again, I think there's some other um, we talked a little bit about some of the um, the background stuff that we think is really cool, like some yeah. of the moments from movies as well as um, like my uh, new Batmobile panorama. So we'll have to bring that on here as well. So yeah. now, <clears throat> obviously this channel, we want to unbox, but we also want to talk about some of the background. Yes. So give me one little factoid about Miles Morales that just sticks out to you. Um, before we uh, we switch over to showing some of the the Miles Morales out of the box, and it's a what kind of figure? Uh, one six scale. And who's the manufacturer? Uh, Hot Toys. And is this a sponsored video? No. No, it's not sponsored. So, um, so what's something that jumps out about Miles Morales? And because you picked this one, you I gave you the you the opportunity to pick our first um, figure, our first collectible. We're going to share them back and forth. So it'll be our collection together, and so some of it'll be in your display, some it'll be in my yep. display, and then we'll bring displays together. We'll even shoot um, from your room where you're gonna display yours. I'll have some of my stuff in here. So what's a, what's a fact that kind of jumps out about Miles? Uh, well, one of the biggest things about the character, personally, that I can like kind of relate to is he's just a kid. He's only 13 yeah. years old in the movie. Yeah, and how old are you? 13. <laughs> So yeah, we talked earlier today about, you know, you and I are inspired by superheroes. Yes. Part of the reason why we've made this connection and we want to do this is that there's inspiration there. We also talked about villains. We also talked yes. about anti-villains. We, we, we kind of discussed kind of what our 
what our opinions are of these different characters, and we want to talk about that here as well. But we want to have an opportunity for people to see yeah. these figures up close. We want to unbox them, and um, we also want to tell some of the background stories. So we're going to mix all that uh, up together. So if you're interested in just an unboxing, you can see an unboxing here. So now how can they get involved in the channel? They can like the video. Right. They can subscribe. Right. They can click that notification button, you know, yeah. every, anytime we yeah. post a new video, you know. Cool. Send you a little notification. And then we saw a channel, and we'll give some shout outs here yeah. in the future, but we saw a few channels today when we were doing our research. Um, and one, one was a photographer, and yes. uh, we talked about that. Another one was stop motion. Uh -huh. So do you think we should do some, a little bit of stop motion here on the channel? Yeah, I think we should. Okay. And then what about the photographs, some of these really cool um, gritty photographs that we saw? I think we should do at least one, like, every now and then, we should okay. do some photos. Yeah, and I like the little um, stop motion. That's kind of a cool twist. Yeah. And then I also want to do, I think I want to do shout outs to people that, that are out there on YouTube that have inspired us. Yes. And so make sure that we say hi to them too, and hopefully they'll reciprocate as more and more people tune into this channel. So, yeah. now I think just down to the right of you is figure number one, so we might as well oh, grab yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's right there next to you. It is. Oof. Wow. That is so cool. We're so excited. Now, this is number one. This is. Yeah, so let's get that. So, And um, so this is a Hot Toys figure, and mm -hmm. we're going to actually get it in the light box. Uh, you're going to get a chance to see a unboxing of our kit, um, and we'll talk more about that. So check that out if you want to know how we're unboxing and how we're getting the photographs and the video footage, um, the high key. Um, you can see that here on the channel as well. That's going to be unboxed as well right here. So stay tuned for our first ever Hot Toys un unboxing of, of Miles Morales. Woohoo! That's awesome. Let's do it. Well, there you go. We were trying to stay quiet yeah. the whole time, but you did a great job. Thanks. I, I mean, I was busy editing today. I didn't get a chance to really sit back and absorb it like we did just now. So you were really did good. Now, I noticed you had the same sweatshirt on. Yep. But this is a different hat. Yes, this is a different okay, hat. Okay, so I was just making sure, 13 years old, you know, I used to wear the same pair of jeans for about three weeks when I was a teenager. These are the same pair of jeans. But have they been through the wash yet? Of course. Of course. Good answer. <laughs> good answer. Unscripted. So, Dominic, so what is the number... One thing you're excited about right now about the channel, and then tell us about what you have in front of you. But what's, what are you most excited about from you, about the channel? And you even said something else this week about something that you might be doing at school, right? Uh, well, honestly, I'm just excited about all the different things we're going to go through, all the different figures we're going to find. Cool. And this right here is just a, you know, a little poster. I wanna, let's, un let's unwrap it. It'll be our third reveal. Actually, if you count everything tonight, we've done a lot of reveals. We've given some secret stuff out. Um, and um, Dominic has let me know during the video that he is not bringing out our little guest. But you might be able to pick out some of it somewhere in the picture we're in right now. That's all I can tell you. But what's this? No, it's, you know, Spider-Man. Oh. Uh, it's a bit upside. No, that I can't read. Yeah, it is upside down because the whole poster is shot upside down. So there it is. So let me help you. Yes. So what please. is this movie? This is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Yeah. So we actually got the poster. This is going to be in Studio B if we ever get B ready. Um, but it's the garage right now. So this will go up in the garage. We're going to get a frame for it. And this is going to be a part of Ooh. our launch. So this movie comes out in June. So we're going to do our launch for our channel during uh, that same period of time, which is perfect for us. You chose Miles Morales, and mm -hmm. I think it's kind of an epic, epic choice. So there you go. One more thing. We hadn't unwrapped this, but I told Dominic I was going to get the poster um, to go along with all of the other stuff we're doing. So what else would you like to share um, about them because these guys may or may not attend our new channel, but we will be occasionally having you pop in, and we'll probably do some reveals on the channel, even though this channel is not about one six-scale figures. 
it is about the behind the scenes stuff. So what have you learned so far about just being in the studio, hanging out with me? How many, how many steps are there in just shooting videos now, not only editing them, which we start in Memorial Weekend. What's jumped out at you? What, Ooh, what? The amount of time it takes. It takes a lot of time. And you said on the drive over here when I went to pick you up after school that there's some parts that we already did that you want to reshoot. Yes. So why do you want to reshoot some of those? You told me in the car. Oh, uh, you know, just some like simple stuff, like some like stuttering or like just completely just had yeah. a brain fart, you know, forget what you're going to say. Yeah, and it's pretty important, you know, when you're doing your first video, like I just did some mixing for the very first time live on Sunday for the live stream. And uh, man, I made lots of mistakes. I got critique on my phone yesterday from my mentor. Even though I know a lot about framing, I never had to call that many shots. And there's a lot of pieces that happen in that, right? And there's a lot of pieces that happen behind the scenes in a video. We did like six or seven different shoots. So you have the you have the box, you talk about the box and you talk mm -hmm. about Miles Morales, the history. We talk together like they saw a clip of. We do a wrap up. There's pieces we haven't shot yet, and then there's pieces that you want to reshoot. So how many hours do you think we'll have in our and there's not gonna be there's gonna be more than one video, but how much time do you think we're gonna end up having um, by the time we're done editing and just getting ready for this launch? Like that we're gonna show, like the video. Yeah, the video. How much time in the and behind the scenes getting ready for it? How many? How much time have we already spent together getting ready for this? Practically two days. Two days. Yeah, yeah. and then we've been talking about it for how long? It's way longer than two days. Yeah, and you've you've invested half the money, and I invested half the money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna get these figures together, and we'll do unboxings of other stuff, not that expensive. Um, and so, how much was this one six scale figure from Hot Toys? Uh, a little over 300 Yeah, a little over $300 for Miles Morales. And so we're looking forward to you guys maybe checking out that channel. We'll reveal Miles Morales here on this channel at some point down the road. But you saw some footage. And so any last words to these guys before I get back in the chair and wrap this up? Nothing really. Not that I can think of. Okay. So thank you so much. I'm really excited about doing this with you. Yep, so am I. Um, getting to do some camping as well and the meetings yeah. that we had. And hopefully we'll be able to work out Memorial Weekend where you and I can hang out. Mm -hmm. um, so what are we doing right after the live stream tonight? We're going to maybe, you know, take a few more hours, maybe a little more than a few, reshoot, maybe get some new. No, something else. You were trying to go to the kitchen before I went live. Oh, yeah. Get some dinner. <laughs> I'm gonna a take, him, hungry. take him out for dinner. Absolutely. So thank you, sir. I appreciate it. You did a great job. And with that, we will switch over to the desk. And after I switch cameras, we'll let Dominic I head out here. So if we're going the video again, I would like I would think it'd be awesome to get Thanks, some buddy. like, you know, maybe Captain America mm -hmm. or maybe even Iron Man, because he has like so many different kinds of yeah. suits. So I just used that for a quick second so I could get over here and um, let me hit my macro, me and a logo. So I hope you enjoyed that. I, it's excited to have some of my kids and different people on the channel. And you can see that Dominic and I have a big project that we're going to be doing together. And it's kind of exciting for me to have you guys to share it with. Um, I sure hope um, that was fun for you. It was definitely fun for me. Uh, let me put my um, equipment back out here and be ready to get rolling here again. So, okay, so that's kind of the stuff I wanted to cover tonight. Um, I'm going to open it up in the chat. Um, and um, if there's a specific question that you want to ask Dominic, I can bring him back in here over my shoulder. Uh, he's still going to be in the house. Um, so let's put chat on the air. And um, it looks like audio was good on the table. Um, yeah, the difference in mic quality between the DJI mic and the table are quite large. Absolutely. I agree with that. Cool. Thank you, Tony. I'll let Dominic know. Um, he does have a great personality. I'm super, super excited. And again, connecting with all my grandkids. Shannon and I had dinner last night. We talked about how important that is. And what we've been noticing, again, this is a freebie. You can take it for whatever you're worth. Um, this is wisdom that I'm gaining and we're gaining together um, that there's so many things that want to take our time, right? There's so many things like I got a call right before I went live 
from Shannon's mom, and she wants to schedule me to go do some um, moving on Thursday. Um, so again, you know, there's always things, right? That's family, so it's a yes for her. But in reality, there's so many things outside of that. I got an alert on my phone asking me to volunteer at my church to do live streaming once a month. We'll see how that works out. It's a 7, get up at 5.30, be at the building between 6.30 and 7, be a part of uh, rehearsals, practices, then um, a live stream that's not public, and then a 11 o'clock live stream that is public. Lots of pieces, lots of pressure. So again, what I want to say is that my, grands ki my grandkids are going to get a majority of my time, if, if at all possible. I have Dominic and his sister and brother, who are my daughter's um, kids, my grandchildren. I have a kind of adopted daughter that grew up with my oldest son and my second oldest son uh, when they were younger, and she doesn't, didn't know her dad. She's met her dad now, which is a really cool story. Maybe I'll have Jenny on the channel. She can tell that story. But I was the only father figure for so many years. And she has two daughters, and they're my granddaughters. And even though it's, you know, we had kind of adopted Jenny into our family, and she has her own dad. And then I have Christopher, who just had rhythm, um, and he's my oldest, and Roxy, um, who is his wife. And I want to invest time in the kids, but I want to find that connecting piece. And it's not always going to be something that would be live stream worthy, um, but it is family worthy, and it's granddad worthy, and I want to make that connection. And so I think I've shared with you guys in the past that I um, have um, literally um, built a whole recording studio because I wanted to build a bridge for my oldest son. And uh, my second oldest son played guitar. My third son played guitar. And then my daughter, she never played guitar, but we have our own way of connecting. We have dad and daughter dates still to this day, even though she's married and has these three kids. I still like to take her out two or three times a year just to reconnect. You know, father and daughter, even though we're now older and we're, she's a parent now and she's married, it's still really important to her and important to me that we connect. So whatever is trying to take all your time, make sure that it never takes time for family and try to stay tight with those people. So I like that. Lieutenant A.K. Allen says, Miles is my dude. I caught that early, Joe. It's great to have you. I am sorry as well you're late, but I'm just so glad that you came. Um, and uh, lots of cool stuff. Um, let's see. The new name of the channel, I'm sorry I didn't share that. It's Bennett's Collectibles. So when Dominic was adopted, he took our my last name, Bennett, as his middle name. So he's a Bennett as well. So it's going to be called Bennett's Collectibles. That's going to be a lot of fun. We, w we did plan on sharing that. That is Dominic, my grandson. Cool. I'm glad you watched the replay. Sounds like the church should pay you. Well, you know, um, I have clients that are churches, clients that aren't churches. I've done installs. Most of them have paid me. This is my home church for my kids and my family. When we have, when I'm in town, I'm not doing shoots. And so I want to volunteer and help as much as I can. In fact, Thursday night, I will be taking that mic kit over um, to them. Again, that was purchased for them and um, for this one particular individual. And um, so we'll be in the coffee house. I will be doing some sound. I've got some learning to do because I'm helping them learn a soundboard that they inherited. Um, so it's going to be exciting. So again, that's kind of a wrap up of that conversation. But if you have any questions about Dominic or the, the little tripod or the little por portable cell pack, or um, our new channel, or the wireless microphone. In fact, in reality, we should grab that. Sorry, spilled some coffee.
So, yeah, that was a bad move. So I wanted to turn that old microphone off. Let me make sure that I have my other microphone on. I've lost some cameras. I'm not going to uh, lose a ATEM Extreme ISO. Uh, let me get something to get this up real quick. The downside of having coffee live is you never know when you're going to spill it. That's the first time. And a little did get dripped on my extreme ISO number two. So I have turned that off and pulled the plug just in case the culprit. So let me get that out of the way. Let me grab the Sennheiser. Not my first rodeo with their equipment. I had the old version of their microphone. Um, already pulled the power cord. We will take the little rubber band off. Power this up. So you just simply turn it on right here, it's on. This is now on, and then if I hold down the sync button on here, which is a little round button right here on the bottom of the mic, and sync right here. It should sync up. Flashing. Good. Let me hold it for another second here. It's asking for Bluetooth. Let me bring up the app. Turn the Bluetooth off on my phone and back on again. Again, I have not done this. This is my first go. Let's go into the app. It's called the EW-D Smart App. I'm gonna click on it. It's asking me to add a device. Um, ready to start. I'm going to hit start. It found the device. Three seconds to sync.
So as it's synced, add this device to my setup. I can change the name. So I'm pairing, successively paired. Now I can say it's my client's mic. So I'm gonna tap in here. Um, click next. Now I'll see if I have a signal in the board. Scanning frequencies, all from the phone app. Okay. 50, 554.2 megahertz. I'm going to hit plus. It's syncing now. The microphone. And again, this is your first setup process, and you could change, um, have a bunch of different signals, presets, all in the app, which is great. Um, that's why I chose this particular um, setup. So again, it is going through the setup pro process. Okay. Let's turn the transmitter on now. So I'm gonna turn it off. Back on again. Holding the button down. And it says it is synced up. So there we go. Um, so again, the app is designed for you to sync things up. Um, that's as far as I'm going to go tonight because, again, it's my clients. I don't want to mess it up. And um, so he's going to be able to name the microphone and all that stuff in his app. But I just wanted to play around with this app and see how easy it is. So if you just follow the steps, I could have left the microphone off and then turned it on. It would have just synced automatically. Um, right now, it says there's no link, again, because I turned it back off. Um, there's updates available, so I'm connecting right now. You can do updates through the app. There's advanced settings. Again, you can control up to 16 sets from this. And again, having an iPhone or a smartphone that you can just use the app to connect them up is great. You can also go through the menus on the front of the receiver. Uh, and again, you can uh, control mutes and all of that stuff right from this app. So. Um, let me see if I can click on connecting here. You hit the link button one last time, and then we will call this a night. So we will have this fired up um, when I get mine and we will do a demo. I'll get it out of the box, make sure everything's working. You guys will get a sound sample. 
but right now I am having some link issues. Obviously, it's because of I just did something out of step. Um, but I will power this off one last time. Um, go into the app one last time. You never know, it might work this time. Okay, turn this back on. Hit the pairing button. So it's saying right now that the uh, microphone's out of range, um, and that's because I didn't let it pair. So I'll have to go through the demos and find exactly what I did wrong. Um, so, but again, the microphone is on, it is flashing, and I did see him pair before I opened the app. So I probably shouldn't have paired them through pushing the pair buttons on both devices and then open the app and try to add it again, because it is giving me a only add one device at one time warning. So. Okay. Um, does pairing canceled? So whatever I did wrong, that's the way live streams go occasionally. So again, great microphone. I've, I've watched lots of reviews, watched the videos. Sorry that it was a fail for me to pair it, but I will be pairing it um, on Thursday. I will get the camera out and take some footage and bring it back to my next live stream so you guys can see it working. Um, but in the studio, I'll be able to show a demo of the audio um, when I get it hooked up. So uh, any last comments or questions before we roll out? Hopefully I didn't lose an extreme ISO tonight because I did get some coffee down by the fade to black button. And I always try to keep my coffee um, down here away from my electronics or way over here away from my electronics. But tonight, epic fail. But I'm learning, I'm growing, and that's all that matters really so i guys hope you enjoy the live stream let me get into the chat turn those off and let me put chat on the air um, i am still working on my part 107 so that's part of what i was doing on thursday is studying for that i moved an appointment in spokane to next week Thursday was planning on just working on part 107 pretty much all day long. I have client work to do tomorrow to finish up my Dallas trip after some meetings we had of how they wanted to handle the footage. So um, hopefully I'll get some more study time in. And um, there is a online training I plan on subscribing to. So I will eventually have my license. And um, I even have some new clients that want me to do some drone footage. So I need to get that going. Um, I probably will do the new channel in here until Studio B is done. So I'll be using my Extreme ISO. I may have my little HDMI switcher on the table with us when we're live. Um, so we can switch a couple cameras from it. We'll have to see, Joe. Yeah, I don't have really a portable setup yet, uh, Jay. So we'll see. Um, I used to live stream from my phone when I was out there. I would use the DJI mic then. So doing that, that would be my portable kit, a stand, a phone adapter, my iPhone, probably no lights. I could take a portable light with me and then obviously use my DJI mic kit, which plugs right into the side of the phone. Right now it's plugged into my Extreme ISO. Well, I'm done with it, so pop that out. So this, with the lightning adapter, can plug right into my phone. The lightning adapter goes right there. There's a USB-C adapter as well. If you have a newer iPhone with USB-C, this is lightning, and it just goes right there. And I could go live. This would be my mic. And this would be my camera. And that's probably what you would see if I go portable um, in the near future. Let me turn that off. And we will wrap this up.
Yeah, lots of people would like to see me do portable live streams, and I'll do my best to do that. Number one rule in IT is keep liquid away. I agree with that, Tony. That's on me. Um, saying goodbye to Dominic, I brought my coffee over and set it right here on the desk, and then I knocked it over. Um, so, but uh, we'll see what happens. Thank you, um, Freddie, for that compliment. I appreciate it. If you haven't hit the like button yet, guys, tonight, please hit the like button if you liked the stream tonight. It was a very busy stream. Got Dominic on the channel. Lots of things to talk about. Tried to hook up the the Sennheiser uh, Evolution mic kit. Again, I think I just I paired it twice, and I'm going to have to back up on that. And um, I do want to shoot a behind-the-scenes video this week as well with that kit before I deliver it on Thursday evening. So that's part of my plan on Thursday as well. And if I can do a voice demo, I will get it all recorded and share that with you guys in the future. So if that's all you have, don't forget to use the link in the description tonight that you're going to find in this video description. If you'd like to join me on the Zoom call next week, pay close attention. Once a quarter, I do a Zoom gathering. It's not recorded. It's not live broadcasted. Just us getting together on Zoom. If you already have my email, let me know. If you have my cell phone, text me that you want to join. Tony's already texted me tonight during the live stream. I've already heard from others about joining that Zoom call. That will be the post show next week. It would be starting right about now, next Tuesday. Again, that's once a quarter, so you're welcome to come. So I hope you'll join me if you're watching this video live or watching it recorded before May 23rd, Tuesday, at, at right around 5.30 Pacific Standard Time is when we will be joining that Zoom. I'll open up the room. You guys will all get an invite, and you can even join as late as next week's live stream. I will send you a link uh, and invite you to it through your email, but you need to go to my contact page. The link, again, is in the description of tonight's video. And then when you click on that link, there's a little contact page for you to fill out. And then just let me know in the notes that you would like to join the Zoom call on May 23rd, the Zoom, the, the Zoom gathering, and I will know and I will send you a email. You'll have my email then. And so you can communicate with me via email and I'll do my best to answer your questions and your comments through email. And I look forward to joining all of you guys next Tuesday for the live stream. And I also really look forward to um, actually, we need to go in the hyperdeck here and change this, so I'll be able to play my outro. But I'm looking forward to having you guys with me next Tuesday live at 4 o'clock, as well as joining me in that private post-show Zoom gathering um, so we can just hang out. And uh, you guys can share something that you learned um, about equipment this last year since we were together last time, or if it's your first time. We'll get acquainted with you. You're going to meet other faces, and we'll be able to have a conversation that last about an hour, um, pro possibly, unless you guys want to go longer um, and stay on. Let me know. So that's next week. Uh, again, shout out to Dominic. Thank you so much, Dominic. If you watch this back later for joining me tonight, I will go out and thank him after, and for you guys as well for joining me. Um, and a couple things coming in the chat. Let's just see. Um, let's go back to macros. Uh, chat on the air, make sure it's live. You're welcome, Tony. Thanks for the comment. You too, Freddie. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate it. Thank you, Lieutenant A.K. Allen. Um, and that's a great policy to have, Jay, and a lot of money on the line in my studio, so I should know better. So, bad live streamer. That's it. I'm done. Going to go get some dinner with Dominic and hang out until he has to go home. At 9 o'clock, thank you guys so much for joining me. I am Keith. This is Life Journey Production Studios, and hopefully I'll see you very soon in a video happening near me and near you. Until then, peace.